video game Donkey. I don't know if you guys know who video game Donkey is by chance, but he's like this dude and he plays video games sometimes. We actually have a lot in common. This is all about Overwatch 2. Here, I'm gonna tell you guys something about Overwatch 2 real fast before we watch the video. As I've said earlier on stream, I got into the Overwatch 2 beta. Have I played it? No. Am I interested in playing it? Maybe. I'm not really a big fan of Overwatch. I prefer TF2. The Overwatch porn is absolutely fantastic, though. All right? It's great. Mm -hmm. I love me some Winston, if you know what I mean. So now that we've established that, oh, like, I'm, I'm not a big fan of Overwatch in terms of the gameplay and stuff. Um, and to my understanding, Overwatch 2 is just Overwatch. There's nothing different about it. But I don't know. I haven't looked into Overwatch 2 in a long time, so... I'm, this is going to be me learning about Overwatch 2. If Overwatch 2 is a couple new maps and some heroes, I will be very disappointed. Okay, I've played Overwatch 2, and it reminded me of a Stevie Wonder song. And that song is, You haven't done nothing! Listen, <laughs> what the hell is this? this what, what? That's Overwatch 2? That's Overwatch. That, I, I've played that map. I've played that hero. Quiet. Oh, uh, is it quiet? Donkey, why so quiet? What kind of scam are you trying to run on me here? The haters have been calling this game Overwatch 1.5. I gotta say, haters, you guys are stupid. You don't know what you're talking about. This is more like Overwatch 1.1. Immediately, the beta confronts <laughs> you with the horrifying truth that what? Roll Q is still in the game. Why? Why and how? How did this moronic system even make it into the first game, let alone make it all the way into Overwatch 2? The Q times here are horrendous. They are giving GTA 5 a run for its money with these long ass Q times. There is a fast. It looks like thing, Overwatch. But it does absolutely nothing. Blizzard, priority one for this game should be get players into matches. When the game launches, I assume you'll be able to pick between roll queue and actually get into a match queue, but it's kind of sad that they still haven't figured out how to solve such a simplistic problem yet. Let's talk gameplay. Overwatch 2 has made big, earth-shifting changes to the Overwatch we all know and love. First off, McCree's name has been changed to Ryan. Why? And, and there's more. And the nighttime maps are daytime now. <laughs> That's there's it. The no biggest way. change is switching from There's no way. <laughs> 6v6 to 5v5. There are some upsides oh. to this idea. Instead of having two tanks, each team has one super tank with extra power. Whoever plays tank gets to feel like the leader of the team until your DPS just run in solo and die. Personally, I've put so much time into Overwatch that any change, good or bad, is welcome at this point. But you have to keep in mind that all of these heroes were designed for a 6v6 game. Suddenly changing it to 5v5 without making fundamental changes feels like one of those player-made custom modes. There are new maps, Bastion and Arisa have been totally reworked, and there's the new hero, Soldier oh, oh 72. Oh my, what was that? Oh, she's wearing pants. Oh, goodness. Like, there's no way so they put totally that out. Reworked, and there's the new I thought it was just like some some chick wearing a thong. <laughs> I was like, wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Blizzard finally understands their target audience. That's, that's what I thought. All right, Hero it's because like the the robot legs are the same color as her arms and her face and stuff. It just looks like a thong. Okay. They even added a scoreboard in finally, but you can never escape the feeling that you're still just playing Overwatch 1. Doomfist can't uppercut, McCree can't stun, so his right click does nothing now, May yeah. can't freeze people. Yeah. Other than that, it's business as usual. You're probably looking at this gameplay right now and saying, oh no, Dunkey, you put the wrong footage. This is just Overwatch 1 gameplay. But nope. This is Overwatch 2. There's no this is the right way! Game. Most of the heroes have not been touched. Widowmaker still sucks ass. Junkrat is still insane. Moira can- It's the exact same game! There is no way that Blizzard is releasing this and calling it a new game. There's no way! It is impossible. There is no way that Blizzard is that stupid. Don't you dare put a price tag on this. Blizzard, don't you dare dare charge people $60 
if they charge $60 for this game, it's free. Oh. <sighs> okay. All right. It's all free. All right. I don't even care anymore. This is fine. Okay. You're good. Onyxa says, good. as far as I'm aware, the PvP is free. Only the f side is paid content. The PvE players are weenies. All right. I said it. Still out damage DPS while out healing the other healer. Symmetra is still zero fun to play. You're still gonna get yelled at for picking Hampton. Probably more now <laughs> since you're the only tank. I know behind the scenes it's a total blunder fuck. On top of COVID, Blizzard as a studio is collapsing. Jeff Watch left. Every employee is fired or going to jail. I've been reading about this stuff forever. But <sighs> now to finally have Overwatch 2 in my hands, it feels like a major defeat. It feels like Blizzard could be the next Bioware. I've been However, saying that for years. We still haven't played the co-op mode. They're taking the Bioware the route. <laughs> I've been saying that for years, Donkey. Like, oh, Blizzard's the next Bioware. Then the next Bioware. Some of you guys understand what that means, but a lot of you guys don't. I'll explain some other time. Draw Look at that ass. Too. For the sake of the fans, I hope that 99% of the development team has been focused on the co-op because I don't know what they've been doing for more than two years with the PvP. None of Overwatch's core issues have been addressed here. 5v5 ends up making the game even more steamroll heavy than the original. The game still expects an unrealistic amount of teamwork from random players, and the objectives are still anti-fun garbage. Without PvE, this is more of a minor patch to an abandoned Ooh. game masquerading as a sequel for marketing purposes. Overwatch 2's PvP is as lazy as it gets, but it's still better than Valorant. <laughs> Alright, you gotta explain something to me. E ever since that stupid cinematic, every single cinematic for Overwatch I think is stupid. Every single one from the very first Overwatch cinematic. I was watching that at BlizzCon. I was, I think I was at BlizzCon that year when they showed that damn cinematic. And the whole time, all I thought was just shoot the monkey. Shoot the monkey. He, Reaper, you are right there with two shotguns, two feet from this monkey. Just shoot him. And Winston's just like, shit. Like, like, it's like mildly inconveniencing him. They're like, oh, this guy's blasting him with two shotguns. What are you hitting him with? Like, confetti? Just shoot him. All right, that's the first thing. You know, shoot Tracer, too. Like, you just bounce around and shit, just blast her. All right. Then they released that stupid cinematic where you got the, 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 the monkey and the spaceman, and spaceman says, never accept the world for what it is. See it for what it could be. Thank you, Pixar. I really appreciate that. I need some deep ass Pixar tier like wisdom or whatever in my game where I play as a giant talking gorilla bouncing around with like an electric gun and a teleporting British woman. Like, okay, I don't want to hear it. So that cinematic was stupid. And then the, the final one, the nail in the coffin for me when it came to Overwatch lore and the feel of the game. Feel. You know exactly the cinematic I'm talking about. The cinematic where they shoot the robot. Widowmaker is up there with her big ass self and her big ass and she shoots a robot who is talking about something to a bunch of hippies. And the robot gets blasted in the head and goes, uh, he falls back and everyone freaks out. No, no, they shot the robot. It's like shooting a microwave with a gun. Just fix him, blow in the cartridge and turn him on again. Why are you freaking out? 